So in this line he says I will proceed to let you know of some of the main generals chiefs and marshals of our army. So he uses the word sanyat because there are many many innumerable generals of the Kaurava army. And he cannot name every single one. Yeah, exactly. It would be impossible. So he's just saying I'm going to draw your attention to a few. There are two plausible reasons why Duryodhana says this. One is since he feels a little overwhelmed by the Pandava army. He wants to make sure Dronacharya, it, it's kind of a balance, right? He said the warriors of the Pandava army, so he, he is now kind of obliged to say the names of the generals of the Kaurava army. Because he sort of feels neglect or um, a difference to the Pandava army. But it, it is kind of a rule that even though an army is weak, your enemy is weak, it should not be addressed as such. So, since Duryodhana said the names of the Pandava army, since he felt a little overwhelmed, he, to please Dronacharya, he had to say the names of the generals of his own army to reinforce the strength. And the second reason is, since he saw all the discipline and compactness of the Pandava army, he felt a little influenced by all the righteous people in the Pandava army. See, this is an important life lesson for all humans. Bhagavan and righteous people, they have the influence over all life forms. The animals, birds, plants, and even the people of the most sinful conduct. Because the powers of God and righteous people, they are all uh, pervading and true. But these material gross powers, they are just uh, uh, transient and they are not true. So, Duryodhana feels influenced by the all-pervading power of the righteous people, the Pandavas, Krishna, and Krishna himself because he is Bhagavan from the Pandava art. But because of the material and transient powers overcoming himself, he says to Dronacharya that, oh, we can defeat them. But this is not true as God and righteous people influence everybody with their all-pervading power. Very good. This is the end for chapter 1, sloka 7. See you for chapter 1, slokam 8.